So, you're watching this video and you're a realtor and you want your quickest way to a commission check. Now before you think about things like this, you need this. And in this video, I'm going to share with you some proven strategies to help you get a commission check ASAP. So, ladies and gentlemen, you want to make money like this. Now, this isn't too much money. I just put it on there just to grab people's attention. It's only about $5,000. And if you're watching this video, you're new to sales, especially real estate. And like a lot of people, you're either transitioning from a full-time job. You're doing this while you do a full-time job. You've jumped in 100%, you know, without knowing what's going to happen like I did when I started. And you want to get started on the right foot, okay? Now, the good news is you can get a commission check right away. Right when I got my license, a friend of mine just happened to be ready, you know, and this is a strategy that I'll share with you later in the video, help them find a house, you know, three, four weeks later, boom, we close escrow, I make some money. It was about this stack right here, and for me at that moment in time, that money that I made changed my life, right? So I'm gonna give you just a few strategies to help you out because you can make money quickly, okay? Number one is the type of lead that you go after, right? If you just knock or call random people, just circle prospecting, cold calling, whatever you want to call it, those are very cold leads and you may hit the jackpot. However, odds are it's going to take you some time. You're going to find people who aren't ready now, but later. I always tell and preach people, even though it's difficult, to go after for sale by owners and expireds, okay? Case in point, we call it for sale by owner I think it was on a Thursday last week, right? Today is, I'm filming this, it's Tuesday, okay? Last week, on a Thursday, we set the appointment for the next day because the husband works graveyard shift and he comes back home in the morning, sleeps, wakes up at five, and then he goes to work at eight, right in the middle, I think it's 6.30 for the next day, okay? We get the listing, we put it on the market on Saturday, right? We, we were already there. I think early in the morning, we sent our photographer, he took some pictures, we got it on the market later that day, a few hours later, once he sent us the pictures. Now you fast forward to Monday night, last night, we had already gotten five offers. Today, Tuesday morning, we have everything signed, we're about to open escrow. So in less than a week, in four days, we took a listing, sold it, 15,000 above asking, we're gonna secure it now in escrow, and it'll probably close, I think it's 25 day escrow. So in about 30 days from making the call, commission check and the gross commission on it isn't that high it's a lower price listing it's probably like 15 16,000 or something which for us is pretty average like 450 500,000 you know but right there 30 days now imagine if you're coming into the business and, and in 30 days I say hey you're gonna get a check right I don't know what your brokerage split is let's say your split is 60 40 or 50 50 and out of that you make <clears throat> eight nine thousand dollars you make 12 of those in a year one a month you're making a hundred thousand dollars okay that is one way, right? Expires for sell by owners, high probability leads. They can lead from phone call or knock to listing and commission check quickly. Now, obviously, there's other factors I can't talk about because I don't want to take up all the time in the video, like pricing the home right and all that. However, with everything else I preach on my channel, you can do it, okay? Next is doing a proper, proper open house event. Now, I'll link up in the cards and at the end, a link to the video that I did on how to do the perfect open house so you can watch that for all the specific training but what that will do is it will supercharge your open house with more people more sellers than buyers and then if you do get buyers they're gonna be really good okay because you're gonna create such a buzz around the open house that you will get a flood of people if you do the traditional real estate open house you don't do any promotion you maybe put something on Facebook maybe something on Craigslist you put a bunch of signs you sit in the house and you wait and nobody shows up I've seen open houses that I've done that have people lined up outside the door before we start. I'm talking five families, 10 families, sometimes up to 15 families ready, and a few blocks away, another open house that they're doing, empty, completely empty. Now there's something to it. In that video, you can watch it, it'll give you all the details, and you can do the same thing. So we have expires and for sale by owners, high probability leads. We have a proper open house event, okay? Now number three, this is what I alluded to in the very beginning your sphere of influence, the people that you know, your personal circle, your Rolodex, whatever the hell you wanna call it. People that you know. Now before you get your license, when you're in the process, you must, you must already be telling people that you are getting your license, preparing them, and then when you get it, you let everybody know. The people that you know, whether that list is 20 or 500 or 1,000, is gonna be your best chance of getting a deal right away, guaranteed. <clears throat> the trust gap that has to be established with strangers is significantly reduced because you have somebody. Now, some of you may be already thinking, which is a complete limiting belief, oh, well, I'm new, they're not gonna, not gonna wanna work with me. 
any of you who start will join a company. Tell an agent to help you so you can let them know, hey, I know I'm new, however, I have Bob working with me who's been in the business 20 years and he's gonna help us out just to make sure that you get taken care of and that if you have any concern about me making a mistake, it's not gonna happen, cool? And even if you have to kick that guy a portion of your commission, whether you decide to go alone or with him and you kick him a commission, you're still gonna make money. What if you have to go with him and he takes half, but it's a $12,000 commission and you make six grand? Is a five or $6,000 check, is your first check really that bad? I don't think so, okay? Now, if you're coming from a job where you're already making two or $300,000, well, then maybe you have to do two or three of those a month just to break even, but most people who get into real estate are entrepreneurial, people who don't wanna work a nine to five and all of the other stuff, okay? Now, I just gave you three really good strategies. Some of them may be obvious to you, some of them not, okay? I don't wanna go too much into detail for each one because I will link you videos and guides that I've made to help you with them more specifically, okay? They're gonna be in the cards and they're gonna be at the end. Now, right now, before we even continue, I want you to go in the comment section below and tell me where you're at, how new you're in the business, and how long it took you to get your first closing and first commission check, okay? Now, if you're somebody, right, who's gonna apply what I teach, I want you to go in the comment section right now and tell me, not only do I want you to, to like the video, I want you to tell me out of these three things, if you're gonna do all three or which one you commit to doing because I will guarantee you, I'll put my license on it, that if you follow these things to the T, especially if you watch the other instructional videos that I do, you'll get results, period. My first deal was for my friend Antonio, maybe he's watching this video, and we closed that house, right? And I remember, because I know a lot of you will be paralyzed, well, I wanna do that stuff, but I'm new, I don't know what to do. I, I would be in the middle of negotiating with him, hold on, I'd go out back to the bullpen from the offices and ask the guys, hey, you know, he said this, what do I say? and then I would do it, and I would get advice from the guys and they would help me, right? So don't be afraid, right? And this is kinda how I wanna wrap up the video and I may give you one more tip. Take action, don't be afraid that you don't know everything. It's gonna require that you fall on your face and, and learn, okay? Because a lot of you will be so paralyzed, oh, I need to learn the script before I go, oh, I need to learn, I need to do this, I need to do that, just go, man. Be willing to knock on a door and freeze, because then you'll learn. Be willing to make a call and freeze, because then you'll learn. Because then there's other people who will talk about making a call, practice, and then they'll never make a call. So even if naturally, before even studying, they're better than you, you still will do better because you were willing to pick up the phone. That was me. The first time I went door to door, I had a backpack on. How stupid is that? I literally would read my script to people. The first time I was cold calling, I was literally reading my script because I was nervous. I was like shaking before I made my first calls. True story. I mean, you can ask the people who were in my original Century 21 office, they'd show up, I was there making calls, but I didn't sound polished on the phone, and some of them would give me tips and kind of giggle, but I made the calls anyway. Doesn't matter, because I know some of you are probably in a bullpen, and you're like, oh, I don't feel comfortable with other people around me while I'm making calls. Do it anyway. Good. I'm glad that pressure is on you. Good. Because then it's going to make you step your game up. It's just like if your broker is listening to you make calls, you may be nervous, but you're going to step your game up because you're going to want to impress him, right? Same kind of thing. So. Point is, is if you want this, a lot of this, you want the Lamborghini like I have and some of the other cars, right? I just bought another car, I haven't announced it, but I'm sure if you're a follower, you know what it is. Then you're gonna have to commit to doing these things. I give you three really solid tips. Okay, now a new one that's been introduced as of late is social media. So think of the last one that I gave you about your sphere of influence or people that you know. Start posting on there, post a video and say, hey guys, got my license, ready to go. I made a commitment to help two families this month. So please, anybody you know, who do you know right now in the comment section, let me know or, or direct message me who's thinking about buying or selling a house. It would be greatly appreciated. I will do my best and I'll take care of them, guaranteed. I'll go above and beyond. Guarantee you that video, even if it only gets a, only gets a couple hundred views, we'll get your results, period. All it requires is that you turn on your phone, which now has an HD 1080p camera, and you make the video and you post it. But then the excuses start. Oh, I don't like the way I look. Oh, I don't like the way I sound. Figure it out. Because in the end, you either have excuses or you have results. Just like the old cliche saying that you hear a hundred million times. They'll still apply as corny as they are. And as obvious as people may think they are. So make the commitment now and do it. And watch what happens to your wallet. Watch what happens to your life and your mind. Okay? I'll end it here. Uh, January 19th and 20th. Make sure you guys reach out to me. The info will be on my website by tonight and the sign-up link for 
the Double Your Income event, Elite Business Strategies and Persuasion Tactics. It's gonna be awesome. Also, a shout out to my Modern Success Program, the $97 a month coaching program. Information is on my website in the description. I've also added a bonus by adding, two times a month I'm gonna be adding into the group 15 to 30 minute sessions of my team training, which goes deep into confidence building, skills, real estate stuff, sales stuff, life. Okay, highly recommend you get on that. Other than that, everything else is in the description for you. Make sure that you guys like the video again, comment below where you're watching from and what you learned from the video, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. All right, I will see you on the next one.